Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Ricky Summer, and this is not a review of Neon Abyss. But first, a message from our sponsor. Love Punk. Window shopping for humans. Welcome to Neon Abyss. Neon Abyss is an action platformer roguelite. Think in the same vein as Binding of Isaac or Into the Gungeon. But it's side scrolling, you got platforming, shooting around. You get it, we all have gyros on our bikes. So full disclosure, I did get a, a review code for this uh, from the developer slash publisher, but that does not color my opinion of the game one way or the other. So I streamed about two, three hours of this last night and the first thing that struck me, aside from the, the, the very striking, unique art, art style, it's neon soaked head to toe and it's beautiful. I would describe it as like, like dark vapor wave aesthetic, like vapor punk or something. I don't even know if that's a thing, but if it's not, I'm coining it. You put it up on Urban Dictionary. That one's mine, buddy. All right. So aside from the art style, what really struck me is in games like Gungeon and Isaac, you, you sort of gotta, you gotta wind up to it being interesting, right? And they're great, they're great games, don't get me wrong. But at the start, you suck. Your items suck. You have to start winning some runs in order to unlock items that make the game more interesting. Not necessarily easier, but more interesting, right? In Neon Abyss, from what I've seen so far, you may not have like all the items and synergy straight off the bat. I'm actually not sure about that, but you can still put together some really interesting runs with interesting synergies straight off the bat. And that's huge. Like that's, that's how you get me invested in a roguelite. I love the idea of the genre, but if it takes like upwards of 10 hours, uh, especially if you suck at them like I do, um, if, it, if, if it takes upwards of 10 hours to actually get some interesting runs going, I'm not, I haven't got time for that, dude. This is, this is giving me interesting runs straight off the bat. It's like, straight into the veins dog i'm ready for it just inject that neon straight into me i'm good to go okay so let's let's play a run here uh this is the bar think of it like the um the opening section for into the into the gungeon so you haven't got a menu you've got you know this interactive world environment which i i quite like so you got your difficulty over here we're gonna put it on normal uh not too much street cred but you know uh we've got upgrades here which i think we'll talk about more after we've done a run or two um, this, this is interesting in that it seems to, it seems to be maybe a mix of items and, and actually unlocking mechanics in the world. Like the whole, like, uh, tinted rock analog from Isaac. That's something that you unlock from this menu. Interesting. Music's banging. You'll, you'll hear more of that. We've got characters here. As you can see, most of them need to be unlocked. I've got these two DLC characters. <laughs> I don't know why. Honestly, no idea what that is. Unless it's like some sort of... Was it in early access at any point? I'm, I'm actually not sure. It's a, it's a full release on Steam right now. Uh, $28.95 Australian. Input a seed. So yeah, you can you can copy my seed if you, if you want and play along. Or you can input a specific seed there. Um, and then there's stuff that presumably has to be unlocked like this statue. Anyway, so to, to do a run, we just jump into the hole. Jump into the abyss. So you'll see from the bosses, it's it's very... <laughs> you could say that the game is very derivative. It it definitely... It, it draws a lot of inspiration from a lot of different areas. Both, you know, aesthetic, culturally, mechanically. Uh, straight off the bat, we've got our treasure room. So it's just... it's you, You'll see a lot of similarities to the likes of Isaac. Um, first floor, the treasure room is free. After that, you have to unlock it with various forms of currency. We've got keys, we've got gold. I don't think you ever unlock things with gold. Uh, we've got crystals, which are also a resource for your active item. It's a, it's a whole thing, dude, but we're gonna get through it. So let's go into our item room, and what do we got? We've got gladiator helmet. Increase your melee damage every time you get hurt in the current room. So presumably then that resets every room. Okay. Actually, let's let's go back here and let's just look at this. Look at this. I mean this is this is vapor wave as fuck, right? But it's it's dark. It's mm. I love it. I love the look of the game. It's 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 clean. Like it's cleaner than than uh than like uh what what what's a enter the gungeon or something. Cause everything's got out, out, outlines, it's very hmm. Clean is how I, how I would describe it. It's almost almost reminds me of like Terraria, 
zoomed closer in if it were an action platformer. Anyway, let's let's actually <laughs> let's do some runs here. So um, this is this stuff you can blow up with bombs. Sometimes, actually, in a couple of runs, I've actually gotten the ability to do explosive damage with my weapon, which basically means that I don't have to use bombs ever. So I'm gonna hold off on that for the moment. Let's not do that just now. Um, I might find a better place to use my bombs. So you can play this with controller as well, and I, I, I almost think I might prefer it with controller. But, you know, maybe it's also just a matter of getting used to mouse and keyboard. I'm not really great with platformers on uh, on mouse and keyboard. There we go, so we've done done a little uh, little bit of explosion there, so we can open this up. So you're seeing that we got eggies. Um, you pick up eggs, and then, I'm actually not sure yet how often it, it happens, but maybe it's every room or every every like encounter room we actually have to fight enemies i'm not sure uh, there's a chance for them to hatch and sometimes they fail but sometimes they will hatch and you'll get little little buddies to follow follow you around like the babies in isaac right so you already like there's a there's a lot of stuff here that you'll be familiar with if you played the binding of isaac all right so with most enemies it seems that if you run into them that you won't necessarily take damage, which I kind of like. But you gotta, you got to worry about the bullets. As you can see, I'm um, very clunky when it comes to platforming. There's, uh, there's secret rooms as well. Yo, yo. It's, uh, I, would, I would say it's, it's very eclectic feeling. You got tentacle boys. You got like weird Five Nights at Freddy's sort of individuals running around. The bosses in particular are very interesting, and they're very reminiscent of uh, American Gods, and you'll you'll see why once we get to it. Okay, what did we pick up? We got hearts, which I haven't taken any damage yet. Ruby earrings. Every time you pick up a coin, there's a chance you'll get extra hearts. Oh, that's huge, huge if true. Okay, so this is our little teleportation rune or whatever it's called, so we can teleport between uh, rooms. Now I'm going to be very careful here. Not to shoot that thing, and you'll see why in a second. There's another mechanic we have to deal with. Okay, so... I think... I think this mechanic I'm about to describe, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but it's most analogous to, like, the deal the deal with the devil, I think, in Binding of Isaac. Um, so... We can, we can spend one crystal. We've got five crystals right now, and I remind you, the crystals are used... Um, to trigger our active abilities as well. So they're a resource uh, for a couple of different things. So we can use a crystal here, which will add to our, well, I'm just gonna do it. It's only one crystal. As you can see down below my camera, now we've got a little purple bar. So that bar will appear either red or purple. We also have the option to shoot those crystals and then they turn into like these spiky demon heart sort of things. And then you spend health instead of crystals to unlock them and then that builds up your red bar and then when the red bar hits maximum you get like this secret room um hitting tab will open the map you get this secret room that you can then teleport to and it's like it's an item room where you can pick between i think two maybe more i'm not sure um different items so that's really cool i love that that it gives you the choice like is it a is it a run where you need a lot of crystals or or do you have a lot of health that you can spend? You know, you, you get to make that choice uh, on a run per run basis. That choice isn't made for you. That's very cool. As you can see, the map is very reminiscent of, of, of Gungeon. Uh, there's also a lot of references to just a whole bunch of media properties. A lot of like 80s, 90s stuff. <laughs> there's, listen. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's neon in every way you could possibly imagine. Okay, so one of our eggs have uh, half hatched. So let's have a look what it, what it does. This little monster damages enemies who touch it. Oh, great. So it's just a little orbiter. Um, so we can stand there and, and cause damage. So you know what? I'm going to, I'm already, I've got a lot of crystals. So let's continue our crystal based run here. Spend two crystals to open the chest. So that increases our little i think it's called wisdom but i'm not 100 percent sure we got another ego from that so we're more than halfway through hopefully by the next level 
next floor, we'll be able to open that item room. Okay, so portal rooms, I'm pretty sure, don't have enemies in them. Uh, maybe ever. So here we've got our shop. Our shop usually needs to, well, I think it, as far as I've seen, it needs to be opened uh, using various currencies, either keys, uh, crystals. I can also just shoot that and use hearts to open that if I want. I'm going to come back to this later because I don't really have enough money to spend. That being said, if that if opening the shop contributes to our wisdom, maybe it's worth doing. But we'll come back to it. Don't you worry about that. Two free egos. Beautiful. I mean, the very first run I did on stream, it was an ego rich run. I had like almost 10 egos following me at, a, at any, any given Sunday. Uh, and just to be clear, they're not actually called egos. They are eggs, but I mean, let's put a little mustard on it. You know, <laughs> what's, the, what's the point of making YouTube videos if you're, if you're not allowed to put a little bit of mustard on it? All right. Hook a brother up with some kills. All right, these guys aren't so bad. There you go. Hatching failed. Dude, we got hearts coming out the wazoo. This would also be a really good run for um, for doing the evil side. I'm not, I'm not sure what the actual proper vernacularization for the difference between purple and red is. But we got so many hearts on the on the map that we could totally just start shooting doors and uh, paying with our life if we're that way inclined. There we go. We've got a challenge room up there. Up there. Now that needs to be... Would you look at that? Looks like we got the tools here. All right. So we've got a couple... We've got, we got some interesting choices to make now. I only have two bombs. There's a secret room right there. Right there. But I also need bombs to open up the challenge room. I need two of them, I think. So what's the smart play here? I think the smart play is, I think I, I think the smart play is to enter the shop. We're probably not gonna be, be able to buy anything, but you know, we'll, we'll see. And then we'll do the boss and hope that we either get enough gold to, or coins to buy something in the shop, or maybe we'll get something. <laughs> Let's look, let's exhaust all our options that don't uh, take us past the, the point of no return. If we can somehow get the ability to, uh, to break some stuff open. Yeah, we can't even, we can't afford anything here, dude. We've got keys. We've got whatever that is. We've got a, a flugel horn. Um, just out of curiosity. We can't kill the shopkeeper? Okay, it's not that sort of game. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay, so let's head back to the boss. You know what? Let's open the secret room. I think that's more that's that's more valuable. What do we got? Okay, we got two we got well we got three chests. But this one needs to be popped. Look, we're here. We may as well do it. What did we get? Big coin? Oh, yo! Well, hey, listen. <laughs> Hang on. Can we... Can we... No, we have to actually activate the... Um, the teleport crystal. So now we can go back to the shop. And now we might be able to actually afford something. So we don't have our, our Mark 1 trash weapon. So... We can afford what... Like, I don't even know what that is. It's a hat? This is probably a gun, right? Let's go for the the flugelhorn song of joy the most important thing in life is to be happy active you can, wait i can fly i believe i can fly you can fly in the current room <laughs> yo okay so the active ability active item get a balloon that allows you to fly in the current room costs three crystals Hold up, hold up. There's one thing I'm not super clear about. We've got an item and then sometimes weapons have actives. Oh, yo, that's rad. That's that's very cool. Okay, I'm not going to waste crystals. Hang on, hang on. There's, let me, wait, wait, wait. Just bear with me just a hot second. Switch item is Q. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure if there's, if there's a way to actually determine which active you're going to use, unless you just use both of them at once. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes you want to be able to fly. So we can't afford anything else here. So let's just, um, 
let's head to the boss. And I can't afford to trigger my active anyway. When would I use it? I'd use it right here to get to those two chests, probably. Anyway, let's just do the boss. God of fast food. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about with the, um, the American God elements. The bosses are all the God of something. And it's, it's a, a modern thing, you know? So they feel like the, oh Christ, the modern gods from American gods. Okay, let's get up here. Now Ronald McDonald is getting ornery. Yo, Ronald, you naughty boy. Am I doing anything here? There we go, there we go, there we go. This is probably one of the better weapons we, we could have had for, for this boss, I think. We got him, we got him. We got him. Don't even trip. Please cease thine tripping. Beautiful. Grab some hearts. We got hearts out the wazoo. We got some currency to upgrade. Space soda. Atomized cola. Drink in the space age. Add a heart container. Add a heart... They, the descriptions go a little too fast. Add a heart container and increase your weapon damage slightly. I love it. There's also a weapon level that I believe carries over through it. Regardless of whatever weapon you're using to the end of the run. So I actually got a weapon that had, its active ability was to upgrade the weapon damage permanently. So I used that, then swapped out to another weapon and upped its damage. Uh, it was a beautiful time to be alive. Okay, we've got no bombs. I can't enter the challenge room. So let's just go. I got full health, haven't got enough money to actually spend anything at the shop. It's a good time to be alive. So there are five bosses with five levels, right? So you've, hang on, I wonder if I can show you. System, is it system? I might, you know what? I might have to go back to um, to the beginning to show you, but that's fine. I'll, I'll make a point of showing you how that works. So this time our item room requires a key to open. We got grapes, boys, don't even trip. Great candy. You will drop an extra crystal if you hatch an empty egg. Okay. So presumably if hatching fails. That's pretty rad. Let's check out the bottom first. What do you got? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the circumvention. I don't even have to aim anymore. It's the perfect game for me. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Yo, a key. You can't, you can't pass up a key. It's huge. I've also had, there's some like, there's some really interesting items. I've had two different items that essentially made keys useless, um, which was very fun. There was one that just gave me 99 keys and another one that was just like, yo, you never have to use keys ever again. It's nice to see do I open this? Yeah, I'm gonna open this. We get a grenade out of it and another ego. Beautiful, beautiful display. So we're gonna find our hidden room as well. So the hidden room, <laughs> Christ. We got five knights over here. Hatching failed, but I got a crystal for my trouble. Oh baby. Now over here, over here, we got to spend five coins to, to run that and hopefully maybe open that up, but I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. TBH. Too, a little too rich for my blood. I feel like we can, let's save up the coins. We can use them elsewhere. We just got a free chest here. A chest within a chest that holds a key. The, a greater story has never, never been told before. Um, I'll spend three crystals. Let's open her up. What's in here? Right. I gotta be careful here. This is this is cheeky. This is about as cheeky as it gets. Two crystals? Yeah, let's do it. What do you got for me? Well, it's sort of hard to see, but we got we got some coins and we got an explosive. We're so close to getting that full wisdom score. Open up our big room here. Alright, I don't hate this gun. I would like to, you know, upgrade it a little bit in some way, shape, or form. There we go. We've got crystals out the wazoo. Let's go. Yo, yo. Steady on, pal. Eggs. Blue Doctor. He collects hearts and has a chance to give. 
give good vibes. Um, give shields on death drop, random shields. Love it. Beautiful time to be alive. We've got a full friendo run, ready to go. Cooked and ready to go. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm doing you all proud. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Please, please. All right, hatching failed, but it's given us a crystal. This is, look, listen, we're doing a crystal run and it's given us crystals. <laughs> it's the synergy. The synergy is off the chain. Okay, so we've got our boss down there. This room, as far as I can tell, just forces you to lose half a heart when you go in, when you go out. So I'm not going to bother with that. Um, oh, did we drop a shield back here that we missed? Well, we're going to go back anyway, so let's scope it out. There's a shield somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. Let's do as much exploring as humanly possible. Have we found the shop yet? I don't think so. Yo, we, we have Adam, boys. He shoots enemies. He shoots enemies automatically. That's the greatest friend to have. All right, let's get the, um, the Greek urn up here. These specific platforms will disappear on us. I hate to see them in boss rooms. Here we go, here we go. We've got surveillance equipment. The general aesthetic of the game is very uh, eclectic. I can't quite nail down what it, what it wants to be. Is it like cyberpunk or or what? I'm not sure. But I quite I quite like it regardless. Um, the absurdity of a lot of the items I think play into the eclectic nature of the game. You know, not to sound too wanky about it. All right, let's keep on going here. We got full crystals. We've got some, we can get even more crystals there if we want them. And there's the shop. Okay. Fantastic. So we've got some crystals to pick up uh, back through where we've been. So let's open up the shop. Let's see what's up. We've got 58 coins. So we might be able to buy something. Okay, we've got a fish boy. The guitar weapon. I can't remember what it's called. It's quite interesting. Let me just move myself a little bit there. Um, you know what? Let's... I want to show you as much as humanly possible. So let's pick up the fish. Trigger fish. He has a dream. You can fish in pools of water. That's the active. Oh, hang on. I get it. I get it. I get it. So the active item is dependent on the weapon. Maybe. I get it. So it's not like two separate actives. That makes total sense. So what does it look like? Why is it pausing there? It might be my recording that's doing that. But anyway, that's interesting. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. It's like effectively doing a little bit of AOE. So I respect that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, open this bad boy up. We got two egos out of it. And a bunch of crystals, buddy. Hang on, have we opened up? We haven't, we haven't opened it up yet. If we can just find a, a place to spend a few more crystals... This is going to be huge. Okay, we've got a chest up here. Next room, next room. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, uh, I've accidentally spent crystals. At least it's only one crystal to... Um, as you can see, I, I very much suck at action platformers. Um, it's only one crystal to use, use the active. So we should find a, a, like a pool of water somewhere. Okay, let's go to the next room. We'll teleport to the starting room. And I think we've only got one more room that we haven't explored. Let's go. Pools of water. Yeah, okay. I, I, I know what's going on. I'm thinking, where have I seen pools of water? In many rooms. I think it's it might even be in the item room. Here we go. So let's, let's give it a try. Oh! All right, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Now, the question is, do you get different things depending on which room you're in? Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, let's try it one more time. So the, the button prompt changes every time. And I missed. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Let's go grab some more crystals. 
So it doesn't seem like spending crystals in that way, actually, let's go, let's use a teleporter. It doesn't look like spending crystals in that way will contribute to your, your wisdom score, which is a shame. But at least now we know. Uh, yeah, this is where I want to be, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I'd love to get, you know what? Let's, let's gamble it here. I've never tried this. Oh, okay. I'll allow it. Whether it's that easy to, to get in every time, I don't know. <laughs> I was I was expecting like spending five coins over and over again just to try to get in. Um let's let's head to Let's head to the boss. I'm ready. We got we got a shield. We oh buddy, god of god of biter coin? Bitter coin? As you can see, they're all elements of modern society. Fast food, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, the mimic boss, young man, yo 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 yo, oh, prodigious, prodigious, huge if true. I did it. I'm a, I'm a genius. I'm the world's greatest genius. Okay, what did we get? Strange mask. Somebody stop me. <laughs> As you can see, it's got a few references up its sleeve. Add extra bullets per shot and a shield. Okay, yeah, I think we got more bullets. So let's uh, let's shimmy on back. Is there anything we've missed just real quick? As you can see, our character model is changing. It's going it's going through puberty, and that's all right. Someone just needs to give it a good old fashioned talking to. Um, let's go fish a little bit more. I'm into the, I'm into the fishing. Ugh. Your boy's reflexes aren't that fast enough. One more time. It's not that I can't hit it fast enough, is I can't, my, the, my, the signal going from what letter is that to my eyes, then to my brain is too slow. I'm a sluggish boy, what can I tell you? Um, we left, we left, you know, let's grab some crystals, so at least we're at full, going into the next floor, and then let's, uh, let's go to floor three. I'm, we're, we're close, dude. This floor, we're going to be able to open the, uh, the wisdom room, for lack of a better term. Okay, here we go, we can open the shop. Let's let's wait on the shop, I think. We might be able to spend less crystals to get what we want out of this. Young man. Young man. Yo, Adam too! Let's go! So our our little buddies, our floating friends, will upgrade as uh, as you complete rooms or as you use them, one of the two, presumably. But that's pretty cool. The music is... I mean, the music slaps, make no mistake. And you may have noticed... My guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. The music slaps beyond a shadow of a doubt. Um, but you may have noticed... That it's... It's got this effect that... When there's no combat, it's almost like you've stepped out of the club. And you're, you're hearing the music through the door. It's muted just a little bit. And then... Open... <laughs> Then when enemies actually show up, when you're in combat, it's like opening the door. It's a really cool effect. I quite like it. Let's keep going here. What do you got for me? You know what would be good? I, I wouldn't mind doing a, a challenge room. For, I, I don't know what they're actually called, but I, I un understand them to be challenge rooms. If we can find one. Get over here, buddy. I like this weapon. Hatching failed, but we've we've acquired a crystal from it. So we'll have to go back to get that once we uh, spend some more. I hate this room. My keyboard platforming skills are not compatible with this room. Give, uh, give your boys some coins. Now, one thing I have noticed, one, I guess, minor criticism is really early on, I started to notice duplicate rooms. For example, this room is reused so often. I've seen this room way too many times now. Um, it's not a it's not a big deal. 
but it's just something I've noticed. So here we've got uh, a marked rock, which means, which means I can, I can waste bombs on it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All that for a coin. But you know, we can open some chests as well. A coin and a key. All right. So marked rocks means that there's something in them. So they're worth popping. And that was an upgrade. You know, those, those rocks always existed, but you didn't know which ones were, were the item bearing rocks. Yo, Adam three, my boy. Imagine if Kluger, Adam the Kluger leveled up. <laughs> what a time to be alive. He's like your friend Kluger, but now he's twice as powerful. All right, at least we're getting some grenades back. So we can't we can't forget that the the shop is in that first room and I keep taking damage in the dumbest ways possible. That's what you come here to see, the highest level action platforming skills on display. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Young man. I I realize I've left the uh, I left the key down there. I um, I yes, I know. Vibrant ball. Okay, I know I'm going to miss that, so let's just go straight to the des description here. This little ball can block all kinds of bullets and will explode after taking a certain number of hits on death. It will explode. Yeah, I got that. Cool. All right. Hey, when did we lose our little monster friend, remember? I guess he got hit at some point. Okay, we've got the treasure room. Let's go get some treasure, boys. Yo, baseball bat? Magic wand. You have a chance to gain crystals when you get hurt. <laughs> Huge. Huge. Have we unlocked? Yeah, we have. I must have missed it, but we've unlocked that now. Rad. Let's, um... Oh, I think we have to teleport there from a teleportation crystal. Which is fine with me. We found the boss. Let's go get our item. All right. Elastic gel or onion helmet. I'm going to elastic gel. I'm going to go for onion helmet. You get a temporary protective shell per room. Oh, huge. That's fantastic. What's, what, what is that? We've got secrets here, the likes of which we can't conceive. All right, that's rad. Um, so let's keep exploring, you know? I want to get a, I want to suck up as much juice from this, from this uh, floor as humanly possible. Okay, so the onion shield, Christ, is maybe not that great. Because <laughs> it, it only lasts like a second. Come on, come on. Come on. Am I hitting it? I think I'm hitting my own orbital. Wild. Hatching failed. Yeah, look, I've also had a run where I had a lot of eggs, but they all failed. It's a wild time to be alive. You know, I wouldn't mind. For your viewing, for your viewing pleasure, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna damage these things. And we'll start paying with our life, which is probably gonna end my life. Um, yeah, I got enough keys that I'll will I? Because it's gonna, we're gonna need a key to open it up, and then to open the um, the chest as well. So let's hold off for the moment, and we'll go back if we need to. My guy, my gentle boy, save me from myself. Yo, dropping hearts, dropping hearts, and dropping fat rhymes. That's just life. Sounds like my Friday night, boys. Okay. So we gained a heart. From an item, possibly? <laughs> I gotta check on my items, dude. Okay, we're starting to piece together a little bit of a run here. We've got um, potentially enough to buy something from the shop, which we still haven't scoped out. Perfect. This is, this is what... Oh. Oh, hang on. Can we not pick up hearts now? Or did uh, our doctor friend just get to it before before we got to it? That's something we, we got to look out for. So maybe the fact that we've... 
the fact that I've now chosen to um, to start doing, I honestly I don't know what you call it, the the devil the the devil pact or whatever, might not be the, the might not not be the greatest play. But listen, I want to I want to show you guys what's up. So presumably there's a different set of items depending on whether you you do the the the, the purple room or the red room. But yeah, let's uh, let's open this up. My guy, I was hoping to get the uh, the two for one there, but oh what? Oh, it hit the orbital! Oh, that's rude! <laughs> okay, this thing is starting to be a little more trouble than it's worth. All right, where do we have to go now? We gotta do the shop. Do we spend crystals? If we, can, if we can find water, I'd like to do some fishing. Yeah, okay. Hey, would you look at that? I'm a genius. I've ascended. What did I, what did I get? Coins? Let's go. Genius. Give me them coins. Ah, oh, Christ. You know, I just realized we need three crystals, so... Luckily, there's an abundance abundance of crystals out here. So let's go grab some. Lodge crystal. My favorite kind. Okay. Yeah, we might actually be able to buy something here. If it's a new weapon, I think I'm just going to go for it for the sake of showing you guys what's up. We've got horns, I assume. Um, I don't know what this is. For 50 coins, I'll... I'll buy it. Destiny? It's up to you or fate act active reroll your wait what? Golden chip. Try your luck. Randomly change the properties of this weapon. Cost 10 coins. <laughs> oh right, so then we can use coins for the Oh huge. Okay. Okay, interesting. Interesting if true. Let's, uh, let's go grab the, uh, oh, we got, we got, you know what? Let's do this as well. Let's open her up. Oh, are you serious? That's so rude. That's so incredibly rude. All right, let me get some crystals. Which, so we can't fish anymore. But we can spend gold to re-roll our weapon, essentially. Where are the crystals? Do we... We pick them up. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's get this last lot of crystals. Then we'll uh, we'll fight the boss here. Where are they? Down here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. It was down. Yikes. This is not good for my platforming. Please, sir. My platforming needs work. I wonder if there's a way to get that shield running for longer. Presumably, there's got to be. Okay. There's a chest here. Oh, we can... This is... Wait. No, never mind. <laughs> Let's fight the boss first. And then we'll risk it, I think. God of guns. I'm ready. Yo. My confidence level is high. So something else I have noticed is you can, of course, fight bosses you've seen at lower levels in higher levels, but then they're like upgraded. It's not just like, it's not the same boss. It's the same block boss plus. It's really quite wild. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Young man, young man, young man. I'm a genius. Okay. Uh, the smithing hammer, I'm pretty sure, just upgrades our weapon. Increases weapon damage. So we got a weapon level two, huh? Um, let's reroll. All right, so now we got different bullets. Interesting, interesting. I'm not going to risk this. Because <laughs> uh, 
That's, that's death if we don't make it there. So let's go to the next room. Next floor. Level... Level 4. I've gotten to level 5. And then died. I don't think I've faced the, um... The level 5 boss yet. Which is one of 5 ultimate bosses. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yo, the rainbow key? Yo, check it out. Where? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Expires at the end of current level. Right, so this is essentially... It's, uh, it's unlimited keys until the end of the level. Bombs. So let's, let's just go buck wild vis-a-vis -vis opening chests, opening doors. I'm ready on 12 different levels. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Don't forget to trade your gems for upgrading. Yeah, look, I know, don't even trip. So this is uh, those little yellow dingle bops that we've been collecting. That's for uh, for the persistent upgrades. So we can get the piano room. Walking around this room could create beautiful music, but what else does it create? I don't know. Um, Otherwise, we can open up Mercy Hood. May the love be with you. Double the amount of hearts recovered. Cool. So that's just an item that goes into the pool, uh, presumably. Mercy Hood item pack? Is there more than one item involved? Or popcorn item pack? All your bullets will explode on impact. Or after they travel a certain distance. Enjoy the show. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Item pack. There's a chance your bullet will split into extra bullets, a beautiful display of death, and then it's got the popcorn. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go for the piano room. Just because that's very on brand for me. And then here we go. These are these are the bosses. We don't even know what most of them are. They're managers. Argus. There are no secrets on the internet. He's the god of darknet. He is hidden in the dark corners to obscure, sorry, to observe and control your devices and your life. It's, it's so, it's so on point, it hurts. I can't, <laughs> can't handle its on pointedness. Uh, and then you just jump in and you do another run. So again, that's, un that, that needs to be unlocked, I presume. Statue is broken. Um, I think you unlock characters from from the bar, right? Like, there's one. So then, it's, I mean, it's one. So once you unlock all this, where do you go? It says one there. So presumably there's a two. Oh, wait, I just had a thought. I'm just speculating here. But what if you get one of these upgrade trees, like, per boss? So once we beat the boss, we get another upgrade tree. <laughs> I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. And then the elevator is out of service. The elevator, what would that do? Maybe it gets us to... It allows us to, like, skip early levels or something? This is... Look, I gotta say, this is interesting. This is... I like it. I like the neon aspect. But more than that... To me, this is... This is, this is the roguelite that if you're... If you like roguelites, but you hate... <laughs> the fact that you got to grind up with, with, you know, the shit items for hours to actually get some interesting runs going. I think this is the game for you. This, it's certainly the game for me. I, I can see myself like doing a run here and there when I got like 30 minutes spare. This is good. I, I'm, I'm into this. I, I recommended, you know? <laughs> But for the moment, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of Neon Abyss in the comments below. And let me know what your favorite roguelite is. But for the moment, be excellent to each other, taste the game, and I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer, out.